Hello, this video is to show you how to set up your Windows computer for the web design class at LCJ. I'm going to talk about three different things. First is going to be file name extensions. Then I'm going to talk for a moment about uh, installing browsers. And then I'm going to show you how to install Komodo Edit. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is file name extensions. You might notice that when you have a file on your computer, you just see the title. You don't really see anything after that. There should be a dot and then something like txt after it, three or four letters in the extension. But these are turned off by default. When you're in the web design class and you're creating websites and web pages, you need to be able to see the file name extensions. It's very important. So if you're going to work on your computer and make web pages and websites on your computer, you need to unhide or you need to show the file name extensions. Now doing this is very similar between Windows uh, 7, 8, and 10. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is open up a file and folder window. You can do so by uh, holding down the Windows key and typing the E key, in which you'll see this kind of a, of a window, or you could do it by clicking on this little uh, folder icon down here in the taskbar. That'll also open up a file and folder window. Alternately, you can open up any folder so that you'll get this kind of a window view. You'll notice that at the top left, you have this button called Organize. So you want to click on Organize. And then down here, it says Folder and Search Options. So you want to click on this, Folder and Search Options. When you click on that, you'll get a new dialog box. This one is called Folder Options. In Folder Options, you want to click on the View tab at the top. And in the View tab, you'll see that there is a, an item right here, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. This should be checked on your computer. If it's not checked, then you're already OK. But you want to uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. This will make the file name extensions visible. So you'll be able to see this because if I click on this button here, Apply, you'll notice that a file name extension will appear for this icon right here. Let me do that. And now you can see the file name extension.txt right there. Now this is using an English operating system. Uh, on the web page that I linked to in the instructions, you'll be able to find uh, the Japanese uh, version of this. It's a little bit different, but uh, that's what you need to do in order to turn on your file name extension. So I'm going to click OK and close this window. And now we're set for the file name extensions. Another thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to install as many browsers as you can. When you install or when you have a Windows operating system, uh, Internet Explorer will automatically be there. But you might also have a program called Microsoft Edge. This is the replacement for Internet Explorer that's only available in uh, Microsoft Windows 10. But you want more browsers than just that. You'll want to install Firefox and Chrome and Opera and perhaps even another browser I don't have here right now called Vivaldi. But you'll want to install all the browsers that you can so that you can check your web pages in each browser and make sure your website looks OK in all the different browsers. So make sure you've downloaded uh, at least Firefox, Chrome, and Opera uh, on your Windows computer and that you have them available. So that's it about browsers. Now the next step is going to be installing Komodo Edit. To download Komodo Edit, you want to go to the URL that I've provided in the instructions. It's komodoide.com slash download hashtag edit. This slash right here is optional. You can add it or not add it. Both ways will work. That'll take you to the Download Komodo uh, web page. Now this should be focused on downloading Komodo Edit. You've got to be very careful because there's another program called Komodo IDE and you don't want that one. There's also pre-releases for IDE and there's a pre-release for Edit, but you don't want those. You want Komodo Edit. So it should say download Komodo Edit for Windows x86 
And if you click on that button, then it'll take you to another page. They'll want to have they'll want you to um, to help publicize Komodo Edit by sharing it on Facebook or Twitter. But you just want to click on this link here that says "Just let me download your software." That'll take you to the download page. Now it'll look like you need to uh, put your email address here, but you don't. Uh, if you want to start your download, you can just click right here. But if you wait a few moments, then the download should start automatically. And there it is. Right now it's coming in. So you can download it from here. And then when it's finished, you should have the, uh, the, uh, uh, the installer file in your downloads folder. I'm using uh, Google Chrome. So mine looks like this. If you're using a different browser, it might look different. Uh, here I have a little button that allows me uh, to uh, show uh, the actual file in the folder. Uh, but you'll notice that this comes into your downloads folder automatically. So if you take a look in your downloads folder, you'll notice that Komodo Edit Installer is right here. You just want to double click that and it will begin the installer. You can follow the instructions that I've given you in the handout, but uh, basically what you want to do is just go through all of these and accept the, um, accept the defaults. Uh, you begin by clicking Next. You have to accept the terms and then click Next again. It'll ask you uh, how you want to set it up. Just use the default, so click on Next. And then you want to click on Install. So this will take a few minutes to install the software on your computer. You may get the security warning that asks you if you want to allow uh, this program to make changes on the computer. If you get this dialog, then click Yes. So you can see it's installing. And once it's finished installing, you'll get this dialog. You don't need to open the user guide. Instead, just make sure it says Launch Komodo and click Finish. You'll notice that there's also a shortcut now on your desktop, so if you want to open up Komodo Edit, you can just double click on that. After a few moments, the program should open. When Komodo first opens, you should get this Welcome to Komodo Getting Started window. Uh, if you close it, then it will not come back in the future, and that's what you want. There is a little dialog up here at, uh, at the top, a little stripe that says, please help us make Komodo better by providing anonymous statistics. If you say sure thing, then it'll take some information from your computer about how you're using the program, and that might help them to make a better version in the future. But if you'd like complete privacy, just click I'd rather not. And now we want to set up the preferences for Komodo Edit. So the easy way to do that is just to click this button right here in the middle of the window that says Preferences. A dialog box should come up showing the preferences for the program. The first thing you want to do before anything else is to click this little button in the lower left corner that says Show All Settings because at least one of the settings we're going to do is not visible until you click on this. So let's begin by going to the editor. If you go to the editor right here, you'll notice there's a little triangle. If you click on the little triangle there, then it'll give you a couple more uh, setting areas, and you want to click on Smart Editing. Under Smart Editing, where it says Wrap Long Lines By, you want to select Word. And then two lines down from that, where it says Wrap Indentation, you want to change that to one extra level. And that's it for Smart Editing. The next thing you'll want to do is go to File Opening. In File Opening, at the top where it says Specify the Default Language for Files, you need to change this from text to HTML5, not HTML, it should be HTML5. This is definitely something that you need to do, otherwise you'll have a lot of trouble
creating web pages. And then finally, you want to go down to syntax checking. There's kind of an automatic spell checking or grammar checking in Komodo Edit, but it's only useful mostly for more advanced users. So under syntax checking, you want to uncheck the enable background syntax checking. So if you leave it on, then it'll just uh, do some confusing things. It'll make you think you made a mistake when you really didn't. So just turn off the background syntax checking. Once you're finished, you can click apply if you want, but really the important button to click is OK. If you click OK, then the settings will be, uh, will be remembered. Now there's one more thing that I'd like you to think about, and that is uh, what would you like in terms of the color settings? If I create a new file, for example, you'll notice that the background remains very dark. So if I start typing code like HTML, and let's go for language uh, equals uh, EN, just like that, you'll notice that I get certain colors uh, depending on what it is that I've typed. An HTML tag is more of a pink or salmon color. We've got orange for the attributes. We've got green for the values. Uh, but all of this is uh, our light colors on top of a dark background. Now, if you like that, if you're okay with this color scheme, then just keep things the way they are and don't change them. However, in the class, I prefer to use a white background with darker color text and the way that you can get that is by taking this file that I made available. I should have given this to you in the first class. It's called art280.ksf. And if you drop this into Komodo Edit, then it will change your color scheme to be the same as the one that I use. And I'm going to be using all semester long. So I'm going to drag and drop this file into the Komodo Edit window. Having a little difficulty here. There we go and it's going to come up with a dialog box and the dialog box is going to ask me if I want to uh, open as text or just change the color scheme. So you want to click the OK button. When you click OK then the colors in a moment should change. There we go. You should get a uh, kind of a, a little alert up here that says keep new color scheme and right up here you want to click yes if you want to keep the colors, if you really don't like them, then you can revert to something called Tomorrow Dark. That's what you had originally. I'm going to say yes. And now my color scheme is now permanently set to these colors right here. We have a white background and we have uh, color text on top of that. So that's what I'm going to be using in the class. So it might be a good idea uh, if you use it too, but it's not necessary. Now, there is a little uh, sidebar over here. I like to close that because I don't really find it necessary, and it gives me more space to do the web page construction on. And that's how you set up Komodo Edit. Once you've done that, then you're ready. Make sure that if you're using Komodo Edit on any other computer, that you uh, make sure that those, um, those uh, 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 options, the preferences, are set uh, in the way that I just showed you. And that's it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in class.